What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life vlog. I just wrapped up week number four of my 28 day shred. Let's head on over to the scale to see what kind of progress I made this week. And as you can see, I am weighing in at 142.8 pounds, lightweight baby. This is down 2.2 pounds from last week, but if you follow the week three update, uh, you would have heard that week three was a bit more of a challenging week for me. I had three life events, food was abundant, so I knew that dropping weight was going to be a bit of a challenge. I ended up gaining 0.4 pounds after week three, but uh, as I mentioned in that video, I thought that was a bit of an artificial weigh-in. I thought that I was looking leaner than the week before, um, so I don't really believe that I dropped 2.2 pounds this week. Who knows exactly what it was, uh, but the bottom line is I made great progress and I did so while living life to the fullest, really enjoying all of my favorite foods. Saturday and Sunday were pretty much mirror images of each other. Started off with my breakfast kefir shake as always. Um, then I had a cinnamon dolce latte from Starbucks, a venti cinnamon dolce latte. Then dinner was the same both days. It was a delicious sun-dried tomato and basil, chicken and rice dish, so leftovers were on the sun. Sunday. Um, and then in the evening, Saturday was half a bag of Miss Vicky's chips, and Sunday was half a bag of Chicago Mix popcorn. Monday I had Sloppy Joe's, Tuesday was Taco Tuesday, had leftover tacos on Wednesday, had uh, two Bud Lights after my hockey game on Wednesday. So just living life to the fullest, not feeling overly restrictive. I hit my 2,000 calorie mark uh, right around that area each and every day. So fantastic week of nutrition, fantastic week of progress. Now let's take a look at the big picture overall. During this four week shred, I dropped exactly six pounds, going from 148.8 pounds to 142.8 pounds. I couldn't be happier with that kind of progress. Now let's take a look at the visual impact of dropping that six pounds. We're gonna start with the front relaxed here, where I'm just standing casually, and you can see in the beginning that I was carrying the fat on my sides, like around the love handles there in the lower belly area. So there there was no kind of definition uh, below my lower abs there in the beginning stages, whereas now, after four weeks, dropping that six pounds, you can see basically the full outline of my lower abs, so the detail below the lower abs is definitely apparent here, and this is really what I'm more concerned with. I don't walk around flexing all the time. I want to look good when I'm just standing there relaxed, so this was really, this is this is the biggest area of concern for me. How, how do I look when I'm just casual, just standing normally. And when I'm flexing my abs, you can see some deeper cuts there. When I twist to the side, you can see that um, the obliques are a bit more detailed going all the way down towards that pelvic floor area. The lower abs are popping out a bit more, so you can kind of see like, even that pelvic floor area, it's a lot more um, it looks flatter. You, you can see, even I can see myself, um, a little bit of ab vein crawling up there even a little bit of a split down the middle of that pelvic floor area. So definitely tighter in the lower belly area and the oblique area. Shoulders look a little bit more detailed, arms a little bit more detailed. Uh, it's just, it's pretty freaking awesome to, to see the visual impact of going from lean to shredded. Now I'm definitely not stage, stage shredded by any means. I probably have to drop another, at least I'd say five to 10 pounds, probably closer to 10 pounds to really um, get stage ready and look completely freaking peeled uh, on the stage, but I got no desire for that. I'm pretty darn happy with where I'm at. And that brings me up to the next topic. Am I done shredding and is it time to move on to a maintenance phase or muscle building phase? And as I discuss this, I'm gonna play some footage from a workout that I did this week with my fellow bro, Mike, 57 years young, looking absolutely shredded, sitting at 162 pounds. I think he's about 5'10", I'm 5'6 and a half. Um, this was a shoulder workout with a bit of chest at the end. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this was meant to be just a four week shred. That was gonna be it, it was gonna be time to move on. I did have that little bit of a challenging week in there where I actually gained a little bit of weight there. So didn't make progress the way I was expecting to that week. But overall in the big picture, I kind of made the progress that I was expecting to. But sitting here evaluating the situation, evaluating how I look, uh, I am definitely without a doubt in my sweet spot. I love the way I look. Once I get back up to maintenance level calories, my muscles are gonna fill out a bit more. Uh, that's the toughest part about sitting at this weight right now and, and cutting uh, when you get this lean and you're a lightweight like myself you can kind of feel a little bit small. I may have a discussion on that later uh, later on next week. Um, 
so there's definitely moments where I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking a little tiny right now. But I know that maintenance level calories and a gentle surplus is going to fill me right back out again. I'll probably gain maybe just half a pound from just eating, getting right back up to maintenance there. Um, but yeah, really happy with how I'm looking. But uh, he, here's the thing: I, I want to give myself a little bit more wiggle room this year. I don't want to be cutting again this year. That's the whole point of this this little mini cut. Shed some fat that I gained during this past muscle building season. It was a nice extended muscle building season. I pretty much built, was in muscle building mode almost all of 2019. I want that to be the same experience here in 2020. Um, and, and I don't want to have that urge to, to cut at any time here. So if I, although I said I was going to commit to just a four week cut and then move on so I could spend most of my time building, if I spend another week or two in a cutting phase, really kind of push beyond this point where I, I'm really, really happy with my physique right now. If, if I give myself a little bit more wiggle room, one or two more weeks of cutting could lead to one to two more months of building. And I think that payoff is going to be tremendous. And yeah, I'm going to probably look a little leaner than I want to look at the end of this cutting phase, but it's going to give me that wiggle room to 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 kind of grow lots more room to grow and be really really happy with how i look most of the time i'm going to look where look the way i do right now here today and what i really like <coughs> part of me is um is standing relaxed and seeing the entire outline of my lower abs so that's probably the biggest thing that, that drives me that's probably my the biggest focus for myself is i really like to see my complete six pack basically all year long. I don't like to, to kind of like, even at the the um, like the beginning of this cutting phase where my, my lower abs weren't um, fully visible there, I don't want to say I'm unhappy. As you saw at the beginning of this cutting phase, my week one update, I mentioned I'm incredibly happy with how I look. So at 148.8 pounds, I was very, very happy with how I look. But right here at this this 143 mark, again, this is a bit of an artificial weight. When I get back up uh, to maintenance level calories, I'll probably be sitting closer to that 144 um, pound mark. I this is this is my sweet spot. This is exactly where I, I love it. Love how I look. Feel my best. Um, it's just it's it's just it's me. That's is my own personal preference, and and we have like our sweet spot usually is it could be five to ten pound range there. So for me, it could be somewhere from uh, 140 pounds to 148 pounds, where I am incredibly happy with my physique at this point. Now, hopefully, at the end of 2020, it's going to be a couple pounds heavier. Really hoping to to gain some muscle this year, some quality muscle, um, and just with the the experience, the years of experience of lifting under my belt really looking forward to seeing how the muscle maturity so even if I don't gain two to three pounds of muscle that muscle maturity should have a strong visual impact with my physique but I'm really hoping to gain a little bit of size um, by being consistent by spending the vast majority of this year in muscle building mode in at least maintenance level calories and, and spending most of that time in a gentle surplus so again giving myself one to two more weeks in this cutting phase if it allows me that other month or two of muscle building, that's that could have a, a big impact on the overall results that I experienced this upcoming year. So, and I'm feeling good. Like I'm not feeling deprived right now. I don't feel like I have to go out and, and binge. I am going out to the Pistons the Raptors game with my son tonight. So I'm gonna be enjoying some some uh, Philly cheesesteak fries, uh, some other goodies there, probably have a craft beer as well, but I'm not gonna be going crazy overboard. We got the Super Bowl this upcoming today. You guys are watching this, it's Super Bowl today. I'm gonna be having chili, chili dogs. I don't eat hot dogs almost ever, um, but we're gonna have some chili dogs today, uh, some dips and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be enjoying myself, but not being gluttonous. I don't feel like I need to, oh my God, it's the end of the cut. I've been depriving myself so much. I gotta shove all this food in my face. I don't. I don't have to do that. Uh, I feel great. It's been an excellent experience up to this point. So if I push it one more week, two more weeks, it's not gonna be a big deal to me. I can end this Valentine's Day, baby. It might be a great way to celebrate uh, that day with love. <laughs> uh, how good is that? So that's my insights. That's my thoughts on this cutting phase so far. Am I gonna end it? 
Um, no, I think I'm gonna push it another week or two. Probably take it day by day, see how I'm looking, but I do wanna give myself that little bit of extra wiggle room so I can spend more time building muscle. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. More than anything, I wanna hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights. I wanna hear from you. If you are in my situation right now, what would you do? Would you continue extending this this shredding phase right now or would you go into maintenance or a muscle building phase what point are you happiest at do you like to see your abs all the time or do you not mind letting your abs go when uh, throughout most of the year so I just want to hear from you down in the comment section below can't wait to read your responses here and before you go don't forget to download your free guide jacked after 40 hope you have yourself an absolutely amazing day I'll catch you in the next video